It took only minutes for members of Islamic State to permanently damage priceless Iraqi treasures that had survived thousands of years of turmoil. The images released in February show militants drilling and hammering artifacts in the Mosul Museum, shocking people around the world, including those in the halls of the Oriental Institute at the University of Chicago. It's very, very hard to, to, to keep from going into a depression over this. I mean, this is just an incredible loss of, of everything we, we work for. McGuire Gibson is professor of Mesopotamian archaeology at the University of Chicago. He has visited Mosul and studied some of the pieces damaged in the video. Some artifacts are replicas, but Gibson believes the video shows ISIS destroying genuine relics. One is a statue of a winged bull with a human head over 2,500 years old. They actually took the face off one of the surviving bulls, which is actually in very, very good shape. And then they took apart two other bulls that were in very, very bad shape. The winged bull was excavated in Iraq in the 1920s and 1930s by archaeologists of the Oriental Institute. A similar larger statue discovered during that time is one of the largest pieces now on display at the Institute's museum. Laura Tedesco, a cultural heritage program manager with the U.S. State Department, sees the Mosul destruction as a provocation by Islamic State, also known as Daesh. It has to do with destroying uh, figures that are perceived as idolatrous. I think the motive is also to send a message to the population in Iraq and Syria and to the world of the sense of power that Daesh has of themselves um, and to create outrage. Much of Tedesco's work focuses on Afghanistan, home of the once mighty Buddhist statues at Bamiyan. The figures carved into the side of a mountain in the 6th century were destroyed by the Taliban in 2001. It's a form of cultural genocide by completely cutting off a civilization from its heritage, from its cultural past. It's a way to um, eradicate a sense of identity. Professor Gibson saw the statues on a trip to Afghanistan in 1969. They now only exist in pictures and his memory. Culture, it can't renew itself. Culture, when it's destroyed, is destroyed. These objects, when they're destroyed, will, that will be the end of them. Which is why Gibson says the developments in Iraq, the site of ancient Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization, are particularly troubling. You know, you're going back to the very, very start of civilization. You're going back to the very beginning of cities and the very beginning of writing and the very beginning of, of, of all the things that, you know, that we treasure as civilization itself. What troubles Gibson more is what the video of the Mosul destruction does not show. Those artifacts stolen and sold on the black market to collectors willing to pay top dollar for items most archaeologists consider priceless. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Chicago, Illinois.